What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Fantasy Fellow Show. My name is Kyle. In this video, it's July 28th. Happy Friday. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. We're going to be doing a Yahoo mock draft in this one. It's a 12-team Yahoo, which is half PPR. We're drafting in the second pick. I'm going to hop into a screen share here. And then uh, I do want to shout out, this is a, uh, a, a, I got a comment from Hand Me Down Clown one uh, He said he'd love to see a second pick Yahoo mock draft half PPR, two running backs, three receivers, and a flex. Um, so I can't, I don't know how to customize it. So we're going to go with what Yahoo gives us for the roster settings, but we're going to do the half PPR draft. We're going to be drafting a 12 team league uh, and we'll do it from the second spot. So I do take requests. If you guys have any ideas or need anything particular, let me know. Uh, their, their, their standard settings over here are one QB, two receivers, two running backs, one tight end and one flex. So in my mind, basically, I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure we draft three starting receivers and then we'll leave that flex up to grabs here. Um, so you can still, even though these aren't the right settings, uh, we can still get to see what we want for the most part. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. Draft starts in about, uh, about 45 seconds here. And I will be toggling back and forth with my half PPR projections. I have my flex tab pulled up here. And basically it's saying, if Justin Jefferson falls to you at the 102, you're taking Justin Jefferson. Now, I do have Eckler ranked slightly above Christian McCaffrey, probably not by much. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's a difference of 1.5 points. So I think if you want to take Eckler or CMC at your 102, I'm completely fine with both of that. I do think uh, CMC probably has a better rushing upside, uh, and Eckler probably has the better receiving profile here. So I like both picks a lot. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind Jamar Chase here. So I think, obviously, if Justin Jefferson falls, I think he, you're going to run him in. Uh, but otherwise, the other three guys I'm considering are CMC, uh, I'm considering Eckler, and I'm considering Jamar Chase. Now, half PPR, that makes me lean running back a little bit here. Uh, they're saying to take Travis Kelsey, which I don't know if I agree with in half PPR. Uh, but let's go ahead and just lock in Christian McCaffrey. They do have him projected for uh, 293 points here. They actually have Jamar Chase projected uh, a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and grab Christian McCaffrey as our running back one. You can see him over here. And then what I'm going to do is let's let's just toggle here and we'll look at the draft uh, grid here on this. Let me see the draft board. There we go. Um, so that Eckler was the third pick. Cooper Cup goes number four. Uh, and again, I think if you have the 102, you're probably looking at both Eckler and CMC. You're looking at Jamar Chase, who I still like, even though the Joe Burrow calf injury uh, Burrow might not be as mobile in the pocket to start the year, but I, I think he's going to be fine long-term. I'm not overly concerned about that injury. And then, you know, this is half PPR, uh, here. So it's going to push running backs up the board. Um, and for me, I mean, Bijan and Nick Chubb are both top 10 picks. Jonathan Taylor, we can look at Derrick Henry, Tony Pollard, Saquon Barkley. If, if Pollard or Barkley fall to us, I'm pretty happy to go with one of those guys. I don't think they're going to fall to us. But uh, again, uh, our commenter did request three starting wide receivers, two starting running backs, and one flex. So I'm going to keep that in mind as we're going through here. Uh, but we got a nice long wait until our second round pick. And uh, yeah, if you guys, uh, again, if you guys have any draft requests, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're almost to 800 subscribers. So let's see if we can smash that here before August uh, comes our way. And man, oh man, we have football next, I think next Thursday night, maybe. I'll have to double check the schedule, but we are right on the doorstep of the football season. And there you go. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven running backs go in the first round here. Tony Pollard, Nick Chubb, and Saquon Barkley finishes off in the first round. The receivers, uh, Tyree Kill goes there at pick number nine. And then Stephon Diggs, CeeDee Lamb start us off in the second round. So probably not going to like the running backs when it gets back to us. They're going to get beat up pretty good. So I'm glad that, I mean, that kind of makes you feel good about that. In the second or third spot, you kind of got to take, to me, you kind of have to take CMC and Eckler because you're not going to get a stud running back on the way back. So um, for me, I do like to kind of run it till empty on running back two, and maybe we can kind of make a committee of, you know, two or three guys that we think can rotate in at the RB two spot. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I just want to see top players available here. AJ Brown, Devonte Jacobs, Wilson. I like Amon Ross St. Brown a lot. Uh, I don't think I want to take a running back though with this first pick uh, when it gets to us. Uh, there goes AJ Brown, Devonte, Josh Jacobs. And yeah, I think, we're probably going to want to grab at least one receiver on this two, three turn. And then I'll consider looking at the running backs. Uh, but honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to grabbing two stud receivers left here. Cause we're going to go, we're going to get basically like two fringe wide receiver ones. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine receivers off the board, 10 receivers off the board. And then we got running backs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like the receivers are getting burnt up here. I would have loved Amon Ra. If, if you can get Amon Ra, Garrett Wilson, Jalen Waddle to fall to you here, I think that is really ideal. Najee Harris off the board. So we're up to pick. Uh, Ramondre, Brees, I like Devontae. I like Chris Olave a lot too. Jalen Hurts, T. Higgins. Uh, maybe we look at the running backs on the way back. Um, I do have Chris Olave ranked in my top 22, and I have him slightly over Devonta Smith. So I'm going to grab Chris Olave here to be our wide receiver one. And the dude's really, really good. I, I think he's taken a step this year. Of course, a high draft pick by the Saints last year. He impressed as a rookie. So I'm feeling pretty good uh, about Olave. And then we're back up to pick. Ramondre and Brees Hall. Now, if I want to take a running back here, I suppose – ETN, Aaron Jones, I, I do like some of these guys here, but we're going to run it to empty because I think it's pretty rare that we got Devonta Smith here. You can grab Devonta or T Higgins, and then I feel really good about our stud wide receivers. But let me grab Devonta Smith here, who I believe I have ranked higher. Yeah, I've got Devonta here at uh, number 28 overall. We grab him a pick or two ahead of that, but I, I'm really high on that. And I think we're going to get some running backs to fall to us. Uh, on this next turn for us, hopefully, that we can plug that in. So we got Olave, we got Devonta Smith, we got CMC. And then the the other thing that's kind of being my my reasoning here is you, you mentioned starting three wide receivers. So I want to be strong at the top of my three receivers. And then if we can get some flex competition between running back and wide receiver, I'm happy with it. But I for sure want to have three semi-stud wide receivers. And uh, I think our next our next turn, we're looking at probably one running back and one wide receiver, and then we got our core five, uh, and then we'll be picking flex considerations from there on out. So uh, let's recover the board here. After I took Devonta, you see T. Higgins. So I, I think we did pretty good here. We navigated and we got these, the last of the stud receivers. I think Calvin Ridley can make a case or, or something like that, but uh, we'll, and we'll see what happens at the running back spot. I did notice... Quarterbacks go in the third round here on Yahoo. In some of the other sites that I play on, they go much higher. They go in the second round. So that's something to note. Um, after I took Devonta Smith, you see T. Higgins, Jameer Gibbs, Joe Mixon, Travis Etienne, Jalen Hurts, Aaron Jones. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> A triple. All right, Aaron Jones, Pat Mahomes, Josh Allen, DK Metcalf, and Keenan Allen. So I, I guess if you want a top three quarterback, I don't hate it. I think it makes sense to stack if you can. Uh, like the guy taking Kelsey, he could have got his Mahomes. Uh, the guy taking Stephon Diggs, maybe he could have found a way to get, you know, if you take Stephon Diggs in the first, you might get a chance at Josh Allen round three. And then I really like DK Metcalf as a wide receiver too in half PPR. I think Keenan Allen's fine. As well, Miles Sanders there to start us in the fourth round and Mark Andrews tight end two off the board. So I'm feeling pretty good about this start. Chris Olave, Devonta Smith, CMC. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys would have done anything differently. I'm not super into Ramon Drake. I think they're going to sign a veteran running back, whether it's Leonard Fournette or somebody else. And then with Brees Hall, it does sound like Dalvin Cook's going to go there. So I expect these guys to tumble, uh, you know, as we get closer to our redraft season. Uh, Jameer Gibbs is moving up my board, but maybe not so much in half PPR. I think Gibbs and Aaron Jones are both phenomenal PPR picks. Uh, ETN does look a little bit better in half PPR. Uh, and then I just want to look around here. I mean, I got Damian Pierce ranked pretty high in half PPR. I have Kenneth Walker ranked pretty high and David Montgomery. Those are guys that I really want to target in half PPR formats because I think they're going to be very good ball carriers. They're going to have a little bit of uh, receiving down work and, and they're projected to lead their teams in rushing touchdowns. So uh, all three could be thousand yard backs. They catch 30, 40 passes. You never know. Uh, I like the Calvin Ridley pick quite a lot in the fourth round here on Yahoo. If that's the ADP he's going to be at, he looks really good in training camp so far. Uh, TJ Hawkinson, that's fine in the fourth round if you want it. I don't love it. Uh, JK Dobbins, hopefully he figures his stuff out and he gets signed and gets in to practices before the season starts. Uh, Amari Cooper is a fine, it's his wide receiver one. I don't know if I like him there, but he's a fine wide receiver too. There goes Kenneth Walker. There goes Debo, Debo, Lamar Jackson. And we're on deck right now. Cam Akers, Damian Pierce. Like we played this pretty well. We're going to get one of these guys here. I think you can take your favorite running back at this point. Uh, we'll see what the guy ahead of us does here. Uh, and he does take, uh, who did he take? Uh, let me see here. He takes Justin Fields. So we didn't get a top QB yet. Uh, but Cam Akers, Damian Pierce, both these guys are available here. I think you take your your, your favorite one. I'm going to take Damian Pierce. I feel uh, pretty good about the Texans feeding him. Um, and I, I don't get me wrong. I like Cam Akers, but 
Uh, I'm a little nervous about the Rams offense, but I like Cam. I would have loved to grab him if he fell here. We missed on Joe Burrow. And if we wanted a QB here, it's saying the top QB is gone for a while. So we can wait on that. Madison, Lockett, London, Kittle, McLaurin. There's a lot of good players left here. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I'm just going to grab David Montgomery because I know I want him on my teams this year. And if he costs, what, uh, early fifth round pick here, I'm fine with it. I grab him a lot in the seventh round of full PPR drafts. And he's my running back three. And he's going to start in the flex for us. And I think at this point now, uh, as the draft goes on, we're going to like the wide receivers coming up on our next turn. I just really didn't want to miss out on David Montgomery because I think the running backs are going to look pretty shaky when it comes back. So we'll do an experiment here. Uh, but for now, we got three pretty good running backs. CMC is going to hold it down. And I think between Pierce and Montgomery, we for sure have a running back too. And then I would like at least two more wide receivers to uh, compete with um, – our running back three to get into that final flex spot. So we'll see what we can do here. After I take Montgomery, you see George Kittle, Alexander Madison, James Connor, Justin Herbert, Tyler Lockett, Drake London. I think my strategy in one QB leagues is I kind of want to be the last one to take a quarterback because there's not that much difference from QB 12 to like QB six, seven, eight. There's really not that much difference. I think once you, once you miss on the high end guys like Hertz, Mahomes and Allen, there's a case that all those guys are kind of the same and there's really only about a point or two difference in terms of fantasy points per game. So in one QB leagues, I love to wait. Um, and I guess we can get, you know, we could even pounce on a guy like Deshaun Watson, Daniel Jones, you know, Smith, we're going to grab two quarterbacks and we're going to make a duo of a rotation here. So I, I'm not super excited to grab a QB early in one QB leagues and look at their wide receiver run here. Lockett, London, McLaurin, DeAndre Hopkins, Chris Godwin, Christian Watson, a lot of wide receivers here, six straight to finish the fifth round. Top of the six, you got Trevor Lawrence, Isaiah Pacheco, Dallas Goddard. I really like Dallas Goddard this year. I would rather have Dallas Goddard than George Kittle. I think TJ Hawkinson and Mark Anders are both like that. That's the clear two and three tight end. Uh, but I prefer Goddard over Kittle. I prefer Goddard over Pitts. Uh, but there is one other tight end that I like. If you miss on Kelsey, Hawkinson, or Andrews, I think you want Goddard or Darren Waller this year. Apparently, Waller's been the stud of Giants training camp here. So he's definitely on the list. Where is he in terms of rankings? They have Pat Fryermuth ahead of Darren Waller here. So I'm going to try and get Darren Waller uh, on the turn. And we're going to probably grab a wide receiver here, whether it's Jerry Judy, Brandon Ayuk, Deontay Johnson. I like Mike Williams a ton. Uh, in this format here, let me see what I have here for wide receivers. Uh, T, there's Mike Williams. So I have him rated as my 44th best player. Uh, Christian Kirk's up there too. I don't think I saw his name pulled yet. Uh, but we're up to pick in one pick here. Jerry Judy off the board. And yeah, I like the wide receivers here. Like Ayuk, Deontay, Mike Williams, Mike Evans, Christian Kirk. These guys are all like solid wide receiver three. So I think, and guess what? Like all these guys are at the top of the queue. So I feel pretty good. Like, if we would have waited for running back, I don't think we would have liked what we what we got here. So this looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with how we navigated the draft so far. We have two stud wide receivers, McCaffrey, Damian Pierce, and David Montgomery. So it's feeling pretty good. I'm going to click on Mike Williams here to be our wide receiver three. And then now I have a tough decision because I really want Darren Waller on this team. I don't think he's going to make it back. But boy, oh boy, I like Deontay. I like Mike Evans. I like Christian Kirk. But one of these guys is going to be on our bench. So I'm going to lock in Darren Waller to be our tight end one. And guys, I have I have Darren Waller as my tight end number four. I have him a 76th overall value. Let's see where we got him. So that's 72. I got him right at 74. So Right at value there, I feel pretty good about Darren Waller. And now there's like a tight end cliff where like I think the next best tight ends maybe David Njoku, Evan Ingram, Greg Dulcich. To me, if you can't get Goddard, you want Darren Waller next. Like watch for that because after Goddard, it should be Darren Waller. Kyle Pitts still feels a little bit uneasy, but I'm feeling pretty good about our starting lineup, guys. Olave, Devonta Smith at the two wide receiver positions. McCaffrey, Damian Pierce at the two running back spots. Darren Waller in the tight end spot. And then David Montgomery in the flex. I still need one more starting wide receiver, though. But guess what? There's a ton of wide receivers that I like. Uh, we might even double tap wide receiver here, whether it's, I mean, I like Elijah Moore down here. I like Traylon Burks. I think you want to stash JSN. <clears throat> um, 
And I mean, if we can get Christian Kirk to fall to us or one of these guys here, Jahan Dotson, Gabe Davis, I'm cool with that. Um, at this point in the draft, we're going to start to see some auto pickers, you know, start to grab their defenses and hopefully more QBs come off the board. But it does look like most people have their QB. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine QBs have been drafted. So, like I said, I want to be the last one to take a QB. I need team 10, team 11 to grab theirs. And then we can look at, uh, at maybe grabbing two of these guys. So, again, whether it's – I like I like the idea of Anthony Richardson as my backup QB because if he's really, really good, it could be, it could be really fun. We know he's going to run the ball a lot. So I kind of like Anthony Richardson as my two. Uh, but otherwise, Kirk Cousins has been a really good QB one for me. I, I think Geno Smith is up there. I, I also think, you know, Aaron Rodgers. Um, Probably Daniel Jones. Who else is a quarterback that can be of use? Let's see. Deshaun Watson's still out there, guys. Jared Goff is still out there. There's a ton. And, and to be honest, like, look at their points. These guys are all around 300 fantasy points. Uh, pretty clear that Deshaun Watson is the value right now. But there's really no difference from Daniel Jones all the way to Russell Wilson. <clears throat> They're all at 300 fantasy points. So I really don't really... I don't really want to, to invest in QB early. I, I think that's kind of a, a fool's choice in a one QB league. But we're moving uh, into the eighth round here. You're starting – look at all the tight ends that went off the board here. So we plucked Darren Waller at a good spot. After I took Darren Waller, you see Rashad Penny, Evan Ingram, Javante Williams, 49ers defense, Greg Dulcich, Dak Prescott, DeAndre Swift, Alvin Kamara. That's a good pull there. Round seven for Kamara feels pretty nice. Tua, David Njoku, and then at the top of round eight – we got some auto pickers grabbing defenses, Dallas, Philly, JSN. Don't grab a defense this early, guys. If you're in a one, if you if you're in a league that starts defense, I, I don't see the point of grabbing a defense that early because you're gonna you're gonna pick up defenses off the waiver wire. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna find guys to start for a game or two. So what I like to focus on is finding a defense that I can start for week one, two, three. Like you want to get a team that you can use for at least three weeks, and then we can reevaluate that position. Uh, but we're almost up to pick, and guess what? <clears throat> we can still get these stud receivers here. They're all falling to us. I even like Brian Robinson for a running back three, no, running back four for us. So we play this board pretty well. But like I said, there's a lot of auto pick. There's been one, two, three, four, five, six defenses off the board. Christian Kirk here. We missed on him, but Marquise Brown, Jahan Dotson. I like these guys here. I'm just going to – I'm going to take Marquise Brown. Actually, I'm going to take Gabe Davis. Gabe Davis should be gone by now. He is our wide receiver three, and I know he's boom bust, but we're going to come back and we're going to get another wide receiver here uh, and see what we can do. I'll grab Marquise Brown here. He's a wide receiver one for his team. Otherwise, if you like Jahan Dotson, take Jahan Dotson. If you like Elijah Moore, grab Elijah Moore. I, at, at this point, this is our fifth wide receiver or our fourth wide receiver, so I'm not too concerned. Um, <clears throat> basically, just get your favorite guys. Actually, yeah, we have five wide receivers. We got Devonta, Olave, Mike Williams. I forgot about him. Gabe Davis and Marquise Brown. So that's a solid five-man rotation. And then the running backs, McCaffrey, Pierce, and David Montgomery. Feels really, really good. We're probably going to need another running back or two. Maybe one more wide receiver. And then, yeah, we got to get two. So we got to get two quarterbacks. And then we got two bench spots left. <clears throat> and this draft is auto picking at a fast pace here. You see Jahan Dotson and then some kickers go. AJ Dillon goes, Sean Watson. I'm going to grab some water. One second. And Yahoo's tough because you know, I, I know it's July 28th. Maybe we're not getting a full lobby of people doing a full draft. But uh, it, it's frustrating when you see the defenses and the kickers go off the board in the eighth and ninth round. I don't know how realistic that is for your draft, but it's not for any of my drafts. So we're getting a lot of players here at a discount. So I guess I'll kind of just uh, I'll, I'll shout out some names here. But I think my overall strategy in a half PPR 12 team league, be the last person to take quarterback because there's still a lot of good ones left. I could have taken Deshaun Watson there. He would have been a nice fit. But again, I mentioned looking at the projections, like all those QBs were projected about 300 points here. So take your favorite one. I really don't care. Uh, I like Daniel Jones. I, I like all these guys, if I'm being honest with you. 
I even like Russell Wilson, but this is a huge tier for me, and all of them look really, really good. I think Kirk Cousins is probably my favorite, and he is projected to be the most uh, fantasy points of this group here. Uh, he doesn't offer any rushing upside, so maybe you, you, you take Kirk and you grab Daniel Jones, something like that. Uh, but if I wanted to double-tap QB here, that's probably where I would do it. Um, and it depends, though. Like, if I can still get a good player or two, like – Elijah Moore, Traylon Burks. I love Antonio Gibson. Um, there's a lot of really good players left, but I know that this draft is has been auto picked to death. So maybe these guys aren't available here. Just to be fair, I'm gonna grab my two QBs, uh, and, and then we'll call it good at the QB position. And yeah, you can still get Kirk Cousins in the tenth round. It's pretty crazy. <clears throat> I know people are nervous about Anthony Richardson, but the dude's going to run the ball a ton. So here's our Daniel Jones. We got him as our QB1, stacked with Darren Waller, by the way, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we did double tap um, our man Chris, or Kirk Cousins to be our QB2. So we'll play matchups there. Their bye weeks are actually the same, so I kind of screwed that up. But <clears throat> we'll figure it out for the bye week. It's week 13. We got 12 weeks to figure it out. I'm not too concerned about it. And then now, all right, we got our five wideouts. We got our three running backs. We need to go back to the running back position. Um, and basically, we just want to grab some backup handcuffs here, uh, maybe a couple rookies. I, I feel really good about CMC, Montgomery, and Damian Pierce. Like, that's a really good trio. So we kind of just want to get some high upside stash players. If I want to handcuff CMC with Elijah Mitchell, I think that's in play. Uh, he just went off the board. Uh, Charbonnet, Algier, Kenneth Gainwell, like we'll, we'll grab one of these guys here and just know that at some point, like I, I'm okay being light on running back after the draft, because you know, there's going to be injuries at that position. You know, there's going to be guys off the waiver wire. So to be honest, at the end of the draft, when there's like two picks left, just take it, take a couple rookies that maybe have a chance to pop the first couple games and see what happens. Uh, cause in all likelihood, you're probably cutting these last couple guys anyways. So don't make it too don't make too big of a deal about it. I think Raheem Mostert starting for the Dolphins. I know he gets hurt a lot, but see what happens. Otherwise, if you want to grab some of these rookies, go ahead and do so. I like Jalen Warren on my bench, so I'm going to grab him. And then I got one more pick here. Uh, receiver Sky Moore, Quentin John. Like, there's some freaking stud receivers available here. So uh, we're going to grab the Chiefs starting slot receiver here, Sky Moore, as our final pick in the draft. So we ended up with four running backs. And six wide receivers, man. So you're starting three receivers, you're starting two running backs, and then I think we got you enough flex options for you, whether it's Montgomery, whether it's Gabe Davis, Marquise Brown, and then Jalen Warren and Sky Moore are kind of our, uh, our you know, in our back pocket and bullets in case we need them. And my draft is pretty much over here. Uh, I don't really care about drafting defense and kickers, so I'll just kind of queue up some defenses. Uh, the defense that I really like, guys, is the New Orleans Saints. Um, they have one of the softest schedules that I found when I looked into it. Here's their opening schedule. Let me know if you're nervous about this start. Tennessee, Carolina, Green Bay, Tampa Bay, New England, Houston. That's your defense. Congrats. <laughs> um, so grab the New Orleans Saints for free. For some reason, they're not ranked very highly on Yahoo. Uh, but again, I feel pretty confident about this group. <clears throat> yeah, Derrick Henry, but a rookie quarterback, Jordan Love. Baker Mayfield, Mac Jones, CJ Stroud, sure, tough game against Trevor Lawrence, but then another rookie quarterback, the Bears, the Vikings, like, and then they do finish up nicely after the bye. Atlanta, Detroit, Carolina, New York, LA. This is a this is the team you want to hold all season, guys. So don't draft a defense early. Wait for the Saints. I'm gonna grab them now here. Um, and then we'll figure out a kicker. But uh, yeah, man, comment, uh, comment if you guys like the Saints call here. I, I'm they're the defense that I want in fantasy football this year. Uh, and I, I just been drafting them whenever I have to. Uh, and then for kickers, I kind of like the Lions kicker. The Lions are going to score points. I'll, I'll attach myself to the, the dome kicker, Riley Patterson. And uh, there we go. Our draft is complete. I think we had a fun uh, draft here. I know there were some auto picks in there. But overall, I have three really good running backs. I have CMC, Damian Pierce, David Montgomery. Um, in my half PPR formatting settings here, I have Damian Pierce, RB10, Montgomery, RB13. Um, all of these guys here are over – They Pierce I have at 255 carries. 
1,115 yards. Montgomery, I have at 1,065 yards. 11 touchdowns for Montgomery, eight for Damian Pierce. CMC, just over 1,000 yards, nine touchdowns, and then all the receiving stats. So I love those three backs. I'm pretty excited about what those guys can do. Uh, and then again, our wide receivers, man, we ended up with Chris Olave, who's my wide receiver, 12. And we got Devonta Smith, who's my wide receiver, 14. We got them at the 2-3 turn. So we have two potential wide receiver ones, like fringe wide receiver ones, which I feel pretty good about. Uh, our wide receiver three is Mike Williams. He's my wide receiver 20 there ranked. Uh, come on down the list a little bit. Who did we get? We got um, we got Marquise Brown on the bench. We also got Gabe Davis on the bench here, which it seems like I'm a little low on Gabe Davis. I should be higher on him. Uh, and then who else did we get? Gabe Davis, Marquise Brown. Uh, oh, yes, and Sky Moore. Sky Moore. I have Sky Moore as – where is he? He's my wide receiver 41. So if Mike Williams can't get it done, we have reinforcements with Marquise, Gabe, or Sky Moore. That feels fine. And then Darren Waller as our tight end. And again, I mentioned he is my tight end number four. And he's not too far behind Mark Andrews and Hawkinson. I have him in a, in a half PPR. He's about 10 points behind Hawkinson, about 30 points behind Mark Andrews. But he could just blow up. So you never know. <clears throat> and then my quarterback rankings, I have... Daniel Jones and Kirk Cousins at QB 12 and 13, guys. So I think that's the way to do it. Um, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys uh, also learned something today. Let me know if you guys have any requests. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to put a link uh, in the comments uh, that's got all my mock drafts in it. It's a playlist on YouTube. Go check those out. And then, hey, if you guys want to check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, we're all there too. And you can actually watch the videos uh, on Spotify. So check that out. Thank you guys for your time. We'll see you in a future video. Have a great weekend, guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.